draw a uh, slab to draw slab uh, first i'll draw a rectangle and i'll convert that rectangle uh, into footing uh, a slab which will represent footing rough footing the correct name is rough footing so uh, first i need to draw a rectangle which is away from the edges of wall at distance of one meter so uh, click on the rectangle and then uh, you need uh, uh, to on the grid snapping and uh, click on I'm away at one meter distance and I'll click again at a point away from one meter distance so a rectangle is drawn let's check this in ortho in the ISO view so I'll press 0 now it is on the base because the working place is top view so I will select the created rectangle uh, after selecting it uh, click on create structure so when you create structure it will convert into a structure uh, this structure representing uh, footing so click on this structure and change its uh, height property which representing the depth of this uh, footing change its height property to uh, height property it is 1 meter so change it to 200 uh, the next uh, thing to change is uh, its role ISC role so its ISC role shall be uh, footing Footing. and I'll rename this uh, because uh, in the files uh, I need uh, in IFC Explorer I need proper names for each item so I'll change its name by pressing F2 and I'll call it footing this footing is uh, above the grid and this footing is uh, above the uh, wall it has embedded the wall so I need to move it down below the grid, below the walls. So for that, I'll change its normal property. It is mentioned here in the manual that uh, when the slab is created, uh, its normal direction need to be changed to minus one. So this will uh, move the slab down. If the move at moment the slab is above the grid and it is covering the walls walls are now inside the uh, inside the footing instead of at in uh, the walls need to be at top of footing not inside so i'll select this footing object and i'll find its normal property and i'll change its normal property uh, with the z value of uh, minus one and uh, it need refresh because we have blue check so f5 it is refresh now so you see that it is now below the grid and uh, the wall is at top of this slab and uh, you can see that uh, the, uh, the footing is uh, uh, below the grid uh, in the front view let's check that in front view it will show it uh, properly uh, or side view so i will press f3 uh, button so three button is side view and uh, this line is uh, is uh, grid line and it is now below the grid line now again press uh, 2 or press 0 to have 3 now the next step is to draw uh, girder to draw girder um, I'll uh, press uh, button uh, create structure and uh, the type is uh, beam and uh, the category is uh, I'll go to category first category is HEB HEB is uh, certain types of uh, girder so there are certain type of girder some class of girder uh, so I'll select HEB one this is HEB 180 so HEB 180 is a girder whose uh, 
width and depth is uh, uh, width is 180 and depth is also uh, 180 in cross section. Now I'll change its uh, its height option. Height is uh, you can see its uh, width and depth. This, these are its width and depth in cross section. This is the length property of the girder which is mentioned as height. Uh, the, the height need to be uh, changed. Let's see what is the recommended height for girder. Recommended height for girder is 4 meters. So let's change this. So I'll change the height as 4 meter and uh, I'll click it anywhere to draw to draw it. So I'll uh, and I will uh, click uh, see the snap grid snap appears so I will click it here and uh, I think uh, the wrong option is selected so I will cancel this command because it is a uh, drawing mode is beam so it is better to draw it as a column so I will change it to column and uh, I'll change these values again. I'll go to category. There is some uh, error report appeared, so I'll change and clear this option. I'll change this category to HEB and uh, I'll try to. Okay. There are some. This uh, some some error reports appeared here so let's uh, cancel this uh, command and let's do it again so first go to create structure in create structure select the column in the column select the uh, category as HEB and preset as HEB 180 cross 180 the height will be 4 meter 4000 millimeter and uh, you can see it's fly by mode uh, sketch and that a vertical column will be drawn put it somewhere whatever place you want because I will change its property uh, its position from property window so I will keep this girder here the girder is drawn after drawing uh, this uh, girder, I need to change its uh, axis and uh, rotation. So the axis of this uh, girder will be 100 and rotation will be 90 degree. Position will be 93.5-3.09. So select this structure and uh, change its uh, property uh, under placement in data go to data in data go to placement in the placement go uh, change its angle to 90 degree and the axis to 100 so when I change this axis to 1, 0 and 0, the 1, 0 and 0 and angle is 90. So the girder is, uh, has become horizontal. And the last thing I need to do is uh, to change its uh, position so that it is placed at the top of uh, wall. So for that, uh, the axis is 90 meter. So let's change its position. In position x is 90. Uh, y uh, value is 3.5 meter, mean 3500. 3500. While uh, z is 3.09. So it is uh, the y 3500, that is 3090. And uh, also it is refreshed so now the uh, girder is placed uh, on the top of wall at correct position and this girder has uh, occupied uh, how much space this girder uh, if you see closely 
the girder center line is on the line of y axis it is parallel to y axis so uh, this girder has occupied uh, from its center line uh, to uh, is the the right flange the right flange is uh, from the center line of the girder to the right side of the girder the space occupied is 90 meter so the leftover space is uh, 4 meter minus 90 meter